Okay guys, so we're setting up this pumpkin and um, we, we've cleared everything out of the way very gently. We've rolled it. I'll have to show you the bad spot. We've put sand underneath it. This was not an expected pumpkin to keep, but because it is doing so well, so fast, I thought I'll just keep it um, and let it grow too. Let's have an extra pumpkin, you know, porch pumpkin, whatever, four or five hundred pound pumpkin, hopefully. Uh, maybe even bigger than that. If it keeps going the way it is, it could be significantly bigger than that. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, what transpires. But um, I'll show you some other things. But what I wanted to show you is vine, the way we're going to do the vine. And so... Um get some of these stakes out of here and I'll, I'll show you what we'll do with it and then uh, then we'll talk about the pumpkin itself and and, uh, and stuff here so I think uh, I think five of these should do it so my tape down here uh, we did you know like I said this was not a, a planned space this is definitely outside of the patch uh, but because it is such a great pumpkin doing real good it's got a great shape to it it's growing significantly faster than the one in the patch. I thought I would keep both of them uh, and uh, and just you know have some fun this year, right? Uh, so we did pull this vine up this main because it was setting on, it had grown on top of the main, and it was literally pulling itself off of the, the vine, um, picking itself basically. And so uh, we we picked it up, removed the uh, the vine out from underneath it, situated the vine, situated the pumpkin, put sand down. So we have that ground contact barrier uh, and bug barrier. Bugs don't like sand, all right? Well, bugs around here don't like sand. Um, and so now what we're going to do, we, we, we have the main, well, not the main, but we have its main right here, okay? You guys can see there's roots you know, that we pulled up and everything. And so what we're going to do, we're just gonna try to reposition these here very, very gently. Um, it's got secondaries and everything on here, so. We want to be very aware of those two, and so I'm just going to uh, carefully uh, position it back a little bit, like, like this. Okay, let me see here. Getting kind of caught up here a little bit because of the secondary. The secondary is very, very long. I don't want to tear it, so we may have to may have to cut that one off. We'll have to see. Put it there, like that. Pushing it back here, like so. All right, there we go. Now, we've got that back far enough that we should be okay. And so now, what we're going to do is start laying it down. Like this. All right. Very, very gently. It's a very slow, tedious process. This secondary, we're gonna make it go under the main, so this secondary is going to go under like that, so it can continue to grow that way, and then we're just going to pinch this one down, stake it right there, so it can't move, and then start working everything around here. The 
don't want stuff moving. Right, let's see. That'll go there. Like that. Alright, so now that should be enough room right there. This. And then put this one back over here where it belonged. Like so. Stick it down. And then this one right here can start to grow just like it was. Just like it was. Just like that. Alright, so now we got that. Now we have to worry get these secondaries going in the right direction. So this secondary here, we're going to let it come like this. And we're going to wrap it around in there like that. Give me some more stakes. Okay, so the secondary we threw over here. So it's going to come from this side around, just like that. This secondary here, we'll just let it grow like that. This secondary right here, and this one right here. We're going to need those growing. This one's got to go through there. And this one here needs to go through there. So, like that. And like that. Right there. And then this one. We're gonna let it go over here like that as well. So let's, let's actually stake it down on that side. All right, now, all of these should be good to go and to do their thing. So, should be. Okay. See that one right there is dead headed. So in a couple days, those will all stand up. Those leaves will all stand back up and they'll do their thing. And this pumpkin will be able to grow. We'll have a little walk space right here where we can get into the fruit, plenty enough area around the fruit to do whatever it's going to do. The reason why I'm allowing this fruit to grow, uh, I'll show you. So let me, let me pull y'all off of here. All right, so in case you didn't hear me very good because I forgot to put my mics on. You got the main vine. It's not it, it's not the main, but it is it's it's the main to that pumpkin. It's growing right here, okay? And uh, you can see where we staked it out. All right, I wanted to continue it growing that way. We've took all the secondaries and we've put them under the vine or over the main. All right, so they either went under the main or they went over the main. Under or over, okay? And they'll start growing that direction. All right, you can see them. They'll all stand back up the next few days. The ones that don't stand up, the leaves that might have got broke and don't stand up, we'll cut them off. All right, so going over here, I'll show you guys. Y'all can see the split where it was pulling itself off of the vine right there, right? So it was pulling itself, literally pulling, picking its own self off the vine. Now, that won't, that is that is going to not heal, but it'll it'll be all right because this stem in this juncture right here will continue to grow. So we'll let that grow and heal itself back together. There should be enough slack on there now. Yeah, there's plenty of slack. May need to loosen it up back there on that back side there. We'll do that in a second. Here is a secondary vine coming off of it that will feed it, okay, right there. And we're allowing that secondary to continue on through the patch. So it'll keep on going that way. We're gonna tie orange ribbon on it so that we can fish it all the way through all those leaves all the way to the back side over there and then where that secondary back there is going we'll let it grow that way with that secondary so it'll have plenty enough room that secondary will be pumping a lot of power this this main that i'm calling a main we pump pumping a lot of power to it so it should be pretty good it's, it's doing fairly decent right now anyhow it's doing much better than the original one that we had planned and uh, and that's why there's all these weeds and stuff because I didn't plan for this pumpkin to be here. It just decided to be here. And so uh, we're going to have to weed here pretty, pretty, you know, pretty good and stuff. You know, mainly just pulling stuff up is really all we're going to do. But this right here, oh, that's, that's got plenty of, 
that's plenty of stretch here. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah, so we're good. I do need to put something down there to get those roots going on that one, two, and three leaf nodes there. There's three leaf nodes that are, nothing's growing, so we'll we'll fix that. We'll get those, some dirt on top of those. Let's see, like uh, this one right here, the next leaf node there, and the next one back there. We'll get something growing in there. Uh, yeah, but uh, should be all right and uh and stuff so we'll we'll be good but like i said this was not a planned thing it just kind of happened and it was growing so so well that i said you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let it not grow so i might have to cut this right here off see this anytime you have those you need to cut those completely off those will end up rotting and causing you problems let's so go ahead and take those off and this right here off let that heal up. Don't fool with it. Just let it heal up. In fact, it's doing pretty well all by itself. I'm really, I ain't even did nothing to it yet. If we need to, we'll put a fan on it like we did uh, the Kenzie pumpkin. But uh, yeah, I think overall this right here is going to be really nice. It's got a great shape. It's a, it's a pretty decent pumpkin for a 21 day old pumpkin. It's 21 days old and uh, it's sitting at uh, north of a, a buck 20. So pretty good, especially on a secondary. And the reason why, that I, uh, let's go ahead and talk about that. So the reason why this one's growing I don't know how well y'all can see it, and I'm not going in there anymore uh, right now, but you can see the fan and stuff there. Let's see if I can zoom in. All right, so there's the fan and, uh, and stuff, and you guys can see that white there by the fan. Not, not, the, not the covering, not the little shelter I built, but that white stuff there. Let's see if I can position myself a little bit better here. Um, where do we go? There we go. All right, so you guys can see, you know, where where uh, the stem had, had expanded and blew out right there, and uh, and because it had done that in several videos back, probably about a month ago, <clears throat> uh, we thought we were going to lose the main pumpkin on this plant. In fact, I thought it was going, I thought it was dead. Um, it's growing and it's doing well. All right, it's over 300 pounds, um, and it's like, I don't know, 30 days old or something like that, uh, and and over 300. So we're doing pretty well. But uh, but what I didn't want to happen was for that to go down and me have all this plant and not, you know, so whenever this one popped up, I thought, hey, I'll just keep it and do whatever, you know, keep it and have fun with it and stuff. That way, if the other one goes down, that one right there goes down, uh, then, then, you know, we've got a backup, all right? So that's what it was for because I thought it was going to go because all those leaves anything past that break so that right there it's not a really break but it's an explosion of cell walls anything past that that explosion of cell walls all those secondaries from from there um was uh was uh, wilting so everything in this front half of the plant would be wilted from 10 to 12 and i'd come out here and dump you know 20 30 gallons of water on it in 10 minutes and um it would spunk them back up and live them back up so i didn't i didn't chop it off i kept it a lot of people said it was going to die uh, but uh, but here it is. It's still going. It's still doing its thing. It's not a, a you know it's not doing huge numbers. It's doing good numbers, and I can take good numbers and use that, and all the way through the end of the season, and end up with you know eight nine hundred thousand pound pumpkins. I'm fine with that, guys. I'm fine with you know eight nine hundred pound five you know thousand pound pumpkins. I like that. That's that's perfect. That's fine. I can deal with that. Um, but uh, anyways, um, this break right here though. Uh, was pretty significant and uh, and so we're, we're thankful that it is even doing anything but that's the reason why when this gal came along I said okay we'll just keep this fruit and see what it does and it just it just in the past you know I don't know week and you know, probably five days it has just took off I mean like just and so I'm pretty excited to see what it'll do and we're just gonna leave it alone and let it do its thing and uh and stuff because it's it's got it's got a lot of power behind it a lot of power you know you're looking at the biggest plant i've ever grown so far you know it encompasses the entire garden almost and and then all this out here in front of it this is a massive 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 plant and so we're just going to let it do its thing and uh, and hope for the best you know hope for hope for the best maybe we can pull you know a couple uh, a couple 18 or excuse me a couple 800 pounders off of this one plant that would be phenomenal i'd be if we get two 800 pound pumpkins off of here i'd be tickle plum pink because then that would tell me i'm doing something right because all that into one pumpkin could have made a 1600 pound pumpkin all right so that tells me i'm on the right track i want you know we got one 
one plant producing two 800 pounders, we're good to go. So anyhow, um, there is, a, you know, my wife, my wife said, why don't we just cut the one off in the patch, just cut it off. And, uh, and I would do that. I really would. But guys, there's an attachment to these plants or these pumpkins. Once you get them started, you're kind of like, eh, I don't really want to take that off of there. And back in, uh, 2021, I grew on one plant. Uh, I grew a 581 pounder and then I grew a, um, a 485 pounder. And the one that was on 485 pound, I actually completely detached it about a month before the season was over. I completely detached it off of the plant and uh, off of the main vine and let just the secondary and its tertiaries feed that plant. So technically I can go down there to the secondary of this plant, you know, follow this secondary right here, right, which is its main, follow it back to the main back there where it's actually on the actual main, snip it off and let all of its stuff carry it on to victory all right i could do that and and like i said that was a 581 and 485 you do the math i can't right now it's a be 900 and then you got um you know 581 and that's another uh 80 and 80 is, is six is 160 so uh you had uh five and four that's 900 and, and then a thousand sixty and then uh so you got a thousand sixty pounds and uh, and then the uh, 81 and 84, so 1,066 pounds on that one plant. All right, so anyhow. Man, my brain hurts now. Dag blame it, y'all made my brain hurt. Anyhow, um, so we got that uh, we got that going for us. You know, we, we can grow uh, some, some nice pumpkins, okay? And that's really all it's about. It's really just about having fun, enjoying it, growing pumpkins. Yeah, try to grow one or two as big as you can get it. But you know, with the season we've had, you're just going to be blessed and lucky to get one to the daggone scale if you get one at all, right? So I'm just having fun at this point. We're on cruise control, just doing our thing. If they get great big and stuff, wonderful, happy. I'm happy I'm tickled plum pink. You know, if they don't, it's okay, you know. Uh, I'm looking to, uh, to sell a bunch of these and maybe, hopefully, have some kind of YouTuber, a uh, big YouTube channel, blow the heck out of one. All right, so we'll see. We'll see what we can get done. So uh, anyhow, guys, uh, appreciations watching. We're going to get off of here and, and button it up, and uh, we'll see you next time right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Don't get the Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.